right, so here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream. He working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. We'll see what he can do with it. Absolutely deafening as the undisputed UFC lightweight champion makes the walk for his latest title defense. This is a huge fight, as big a fight as we can put together at 155 pounds, but the champion thinks it's going to be one side. Yeah, skill for skill, he's one of the best fighters in the world. That's why when you look at the pound for pound rankings, you always see his name right up on the top of the guys on the list. He has every skill in mixed martial arts, but I believe it's his mind that separates him from the rest. He has a still trap of a mind. It believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he's the best fighter in the world. Yeah, he was carrying himself this week like a guy who knew something we didn't. We'll see just how one-sided this fight could be in a matter of moments. The iron ball Colfell steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, here we go. UFC lightweight title is on the line. Got the hook in quickly. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. No! Huge kick to the head. Trademark inside leg kick there by Felder. Fight behind a nice jab. Oh, he kicked him in the head. And the cut has just opened up now on his forehead. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Dig and kick. Big shot lands for both guys. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Good by the Irish Dragon, Paul Felt. Just misses there with the left. Nice front kick there. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Touched him with the strike there. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have landed for Paul Felt. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, nice, nice hook. Just missed with the left there. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And... Right through the air, and he lands the knee. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, got the kick to the head home there. Nice straight right wings. Oh, side kick. Well done. Just over two minutes to go in round one. He's looking. 
looking for that left hand. Not there. Real nice body kick land. Circling towards the left now. Again, another kick to the body. Useful one there. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by Felder. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC locker. So he lands another counter strike there, all set up by his brilliant job defensively, getting that head off of the center line and using his opponent's aggression against them. Nicely done. Felder's uppercut is blocked. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Twenty seconds to go in round one. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Final seconds of round one. Round two next. All right, that's the end of the round, so the complexion of this one may have changed a little bit. You see the cut above his eyes sustained in that round. One of the best cut men in the business. He'll get in there and try to close it up before it becomes a bigger issue than it already is. All right, well, the cut man has got his work cut out for him, and I believe we have isolated the shot that caused that critical cut above the eye. I mean, right above the eye, John. Too many damaging blows. He's got to change something because now every time he gets hit above the eye, the blood will start to leak in his eye, making it almost impossible to fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Connects with a beautiful jab. Well, it's not always easy being a counter-striker, but when you can execute the style this effectively, it really is something to behold. You'll see he'll try to draw the opponent in here yet again, and as soon as his opponent strikes, they'll try to use that wayward offense against him and get back to his countering game that really has been the big story in this one thus far. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Big knee there. Oh, spinning back fist. Felder gets hit with a kick. Straight right is there. strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked good. Michael gets to the target. Beautiful flying knee to the head. Felder's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Oh, uppercut. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. His misses are entertaining. Under three minutes now to go in the round. The 
his work, guys. Right hand, yup. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer strike. Less than two minutes now to go in round two. Spinning back fist out of nowhere. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job. Oh, that hurt. That hurt him bad. Gets back to his feet. Oh, big left hook there. Strong outside leg kick. Felder gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. What a great job getting that kick to the top. Felder's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, going for the takedown here. Spinning back fist. That's good defense to get that guard up. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. Oh. Seconds winding down in round two. Felder stuffs it out. Felder's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut. Perhaps they're on the bridge. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants Ready, to get the desired finish. Round three of a possible five. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on... Oh! Seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, being reactive. you got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Drawing board.
score for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.